Hi, welcome to the task management video for Agile CRM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a task and how to organize your task and how to actually process a task. To get to your task, no matter where you are in the actual platform, you go to task here and this will take you to a default view, which is going to show you those that are due. Now we have what are called some filters so you can look at your pending task. You can look at all pending tasks and what that means is all of the users on the platform. You can look at only your task or you can look at all tasks as well. And that will show you those that are overdue, due tomorrow, today, or sometime in the future. Now along with that we have what are called views. So you can group your actual task by the category of task. And I'm going to show you how you can change categories and what categories means if you have a call task, an email task, uh, a tweet task. And then you can even filter say okay I want to look at the category but I want to show all tasks across the platform and that will show everyone or category task but all pending task meaning category based tasks that are due in the future sometime in the future they're pending they're not closed so I'm going to go back to all task look at all of them and show you not only can you group by category you can group by owner So those are all that owner's task and all that owner's task. And then again, you can also group by when tasks are due. Overdue today, and that's one of the default views I talked about earlier. You can group by the priority of the task. And we also have a status group by those that have not been started, those that are in progress, and those that are actually completed. So that's how you would group task. And we also have different views. This is what is called a list view. Having a browser issue. So it's going to show you who the owner is of the task. And again, these are all the tasks in here. And all of these views and sorting can be done in any combination. So along with that particular view, we have what is called a calendar view. I don't have any task. And as you see from within the calendar, you can quickly create a task. Let me go ahead and create a task. I'm doing it from the calendar view. Give it a name, a category, say it's a follow-up. I want it to, uh, the due date is on the 20th, a time, who the owner is, the priority, say it's a, it's a normal priority, it hasn't started, and then who is it related to, what contact. I'm going to start typing, and it's going to search, and say it's related to that contact. Any deals, uh, let's see, it's related to that deal and add a description follow up with this customer and save it okay so there it is in the calendar view and then you have a day view of tasks similarly like we have in our regular calendar okay so we want to go group by category and there's the follow-up category task. Now we talked about categories. Let me show you how you can add or edit categories for your task. Admin settings. Go to task. And here you can add additional categories. I'm going to just call it new category. And I'm going to edit a task and show you how you can change it. So let's go back to task. I want to edit this task. And I want to change the category to new category and update it. 
So now let me show you how you close a task. You find that particular new category. It's right there. So I can actually mark this task as complete, or I can edit the task like I did earlier, or I can delete the task. So let's say I want to edit it because I want to update the status of the task. Edit, and I'm going to change it to in progress. And then you say, okay, you can say how much in progress is it? Is it totally completed? No, I don't want to complete it. Let me switch it back to in progress. But I want to show you with this slider, you can give a percentage of completion or a percentage of in progress up until it is actually completed. So I'm going to update it. And there you go. And you show this little icon here lets you know how closely to completion the task is. So shows you how to create a task, edit a task, edit categories, update the task, etc. And you can also add a dashlet to your task. So let's say I'm going to say cat a uh, calendar, and I want to look at a task report across the board. And I want it to go on the task page and you just add it. Now let's go to task and here's the task report. Like all of the dashlets, you can edit them, update the views. So I want to look at only completed task by category, the last seven days, this month, etc. or whatever the data set is that you want to filter on. So I hope this was helpful.